In the midst of this uh, place here called uh, Carrington Recreational Site, uh, it has a beautiful skyline here of the uh, of the boardwalk coming across this lake. Some people go out and do some fishing. Some people just uh, actually come out and, and enjoy all the whatever they have to offer. To that, by myself is high sunlight shooting this video from this perspective here in this place to be uh, on a crest of the hill crest of the lake itself uh, and I'm actually testing the distance of my uh, my microphone uh, it's a swampy area uh, you never know what comes out of this area but uh, uh, it is a swampy area and uh, I'm just out here testing out the distance of my mic and uh, hoping that everything comes out okay as I move closer to the, uh, to the body of the water, body of the water here in Lake Carrollton Recreational Site here in uh, Florida. In here in Tampa, one of Tampa's suburbs is called Carrollton off of uh, Citrus Park uh, location here in Florida. And I'm happy to be out here soaking up some of the sunlight and uh, capturing some of the scenery here as I check my exposure. It's not too many people out here, a lot of uh, dog watchers and stuff like that. So I'm going to switch my camera around to the other side, see what I can come up with. This is the other side of a lake here, from this perspective that I'm viewing here. So we can see we have a great vocational area that you can actually, uh, you can jog, you can fish, you can do whatever you want in this particular lake. But you got to look out for the alligators because anytime alligators can come out from this body of water and surprise you, there's a duck down there in the terrain. But, uh, that's one of the things you look out for here around Florida. You don't see them, but uh, uh, they can be at any at any moment. They can come out, and you don't know they're there. So, what I'm doing today is actually capturing the uh, the essence of the uh, the body of water along this. Uh, we call it a pond. It's a pond that actually was. Um, dug out to create a recreational site within the uh, nature preserve so um, have fun and leave your home sometime and and capture what's in the neighborhood what's in the neighborhood may surprise you because it's always something new to find something new to do and these are uh, vegetation actually uh, Oh, the, uh, they're actually part of the landscape. They're part of this landscape of Florida. Uh, the grass, the weed, everything here is part of the landscape that's part of Florida setting. The lilies in a pond, the trees. But something strange about this particular area, as I look at a nature preserve, the trees grow tall because of the water underneath here and the part of Florida is not really, uh, this part of Florida is not really one that actually is in, uh, in a marsh. 
is more or less inland so that's what make it interesting to live because it's inland and you still have a have a forest with the uh, the trade wind coming through certain time right now i can feel that trade wind coming from the uh i guess if i would say it, it's coming from the from the west blowing to the east uh and this this part of florida is actually uh part of our uh, uh tampa is more or less known so all of this is uh it's significant to say that uh, it's cool here in the winter time. It's gonna get a little bit hot because of the uh, marshland, but in reality, it's still a comfortable place to come and put down roots. Business is booming here too. So, you know, freeways, freeways actually is always packed. Going into the city itself called Tampa. If you go in there, you see that those freeways actually packed. So. As I move my camera around in another location, uh, those are other humidity that's uh, that's available to us here in this area. Uh, we have the dog track, we have a skateboard track. Uh, they have uh, I didn't see any basketball t um, uh, um, hoops. It's like an excursion around this place. Perspective. There's a car, there's a dog on. Some of the people there. Hanging out. That's how I shoot this video. Oh, wow, I need five minutes here. Uh, Carolyn Tun uh, 
cultural center here in Tampa, Florida. I'm getting a glimpse of it because what I'm trying to get here is uh, the center itself. It's the art, the art. The art uh, place called the Carrollton, Carrollton um, Culture Center here in Tampa, Florida. It's one of the state-of-the-art um, community project that depict uh, the art uh, in this area. So today it's, uh, it's quite significant to come out and capture this sculpture from this vantage point. I'm not sure what a sculpture is saying, but it's, it's a sculpture. It's my interpretation. It seems to be like a... Uh, Angels. I interpret a sculpture. I'm not sure what I will call it, but uh, I'm gonna draw closer to it if there's any um, interpretation. But it's a sculpture here, represent someone else's art here in this particular place. So I'm gonna go inside to find out exactly uh, who drew, who who developed a sculpture. But I'm here just. Uh, capturing the scenery of Carleton Town uh, Community Center. I saw a picture of you and I fell in love. You were so beautiful, so completely beautiful, but you were hard to reach. It seemed that you lived in a different world. The first time I met you, it was unexpected. Now that I know you had been there forever, but I had never noticed till I saw how you glowed. I never noticed till I saw the way your smile lit up the world. The way life seemed to awaken when you neared, you seemed so timeless. You were so close to me, but only for a few minutes. I just couldn't stay. The next time I saw you was just a bit after the first. I talked to you, I showed you who I was, and you listened and talked back. And that is when I knew I loved you. And that is when you said you loved me, but still you had to leave. That is how our love is still like right now. A series of moments together, fleeting minutes of us embraced, never wanting to part. But in the end, one of us always leaving, just moments. In each encounter, our fingers locked together, our eyes only on each other. We always made good of the short time we have, and that is what makes our love so special, isn't it? Because we know it will last till the day that you have true that you truly leave forever. It will last till the day I have to stay. But I'm okay with that because I have you right now and that's all that matters. I will love you forever even though we both always have to go eventually. Even though our time together is so short, but we have sunrise together and we have sunset. We have the first star of the night and we have the last. And I can live with that. A love poem for night and day. Who is it? Written yeah. by who? Yes, Adelaide Ray Young. Young, dedicated when? Two years ago? Two years ago? Two years ago. So, what's the significant about this center? What What is that significant? The center, the center. Serving the community through art? Through art. Mm -hmm. So this is a depiction of art. Of art. Generation mm -hmm. by community through members through the time yes. that actually live in this community. Yes. And, uh, and when was this place established? Um, so this actually started as a church, and then mm -hmm. um, as the church built another building down on Gun Highway, okay. it was dedicated to the Friends of Carrollwood, mm -hmm. and we became a uh, nonprofit. Non yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So if if I would ask you, uh, what 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 make Tampa suburban area, Carrollton area, so significant? What what attract you to it? What attracts me to it? Well, yeah. I grew up here. So. You grew up here? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so you know a lot about So I, um, I do yeah, a yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so in a sense, you was part of the inception of this city. You of saw it city. come from yep. a farmland into what it is now, right? Mm -hmm. Correct? Am I? Uh, not me personally, but a no, lot of people. A lot of people. Mm -hmm. So there's a pond out there that, uh, that have fish in it, right? Mm -hmm. By, uh, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, tennis court, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what kind of fish is in that pond? Oh gosh, I would say probably tilapia. Tilapia? <laughs> tilapia, probably. That's in every pond in Florida. <laughs> so tilapia. <laughs> tilapia, you know, 
<laughs> Let me tell you, maybe, maybe a joke. And whatever you know, tilap tilapoli, <laughs> no other fish eat tilapoli. No other fish eat tilapia? No. 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 So what's that telling you? <laughs> that we shouldn't eat them? <laughs> it's a, it's a, a generated fish that mm -hmm. have, have this significant uh, appetite even to the fish. Mm -hmm. So when you can so I'm not putting out tilapia, but I know <laughs> I, I, I noticed that no other fish eat tilapia. Hmm. And you but didn't birds know do. Birds eat Yeah, it. yeah, but you didn't yeah. know that, right? I well oh. tilapia eat tilapia. <laughs> fish eat yeah. So, They'll eat fish will okay. eat fish <laughs> I got you I got you so that, that's significant that Tampa itself emerged into a was actually a historical town right it was mm -hmm. actually uh, I would say came into existence after the Seminole Indian War yes. right mm -hmm. and uh, correct me if I'm wrong right uh, the, the, uh, the whole attraction or inception for people to come to Florida right and mm -hmm. I read it somewhere right as long as the uh, new uh, settlers could fire a gun, right? Shoot a gun, right? Okay. They will receive a hundred acre to repopulate the property that actually was uh, was uh, actually to. confiscated from the defeated the Seminole, yep. defeated Seminole Indian. Mm -hmm. That's what I read, right? Mm -hmm. So and so therefore, and 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 and, and because uh, Florida was such a swamp land, the creation of air condition was actually emerged based on that because mm -hmm. people couldn't live here before right so uh i guess uh i don't know what the air conditioning company meant then but it came up <laughs> with this free on concept is that in order for the rich people to move to florida they need air condition because it is a swamp area and i consider i some, something about this place is unique because it has a trade wind mm -hmm. it has a trade wind comes through here so maybe it's not that's why it's uh it, it, it's not as hot as uh as as you go where you have swamp area well, and the trees are large you exactly where to live too yeah. to get away from yeah, the yeah. storms from so the storm so so the enclave called tampa the bay area and the canal there was actually where where the native american uh actually migrated to and lived there and farm and and have a beautiful life and we came later on <laughs> yes. and occupied. All right. So What's are you name? are you writing an article about the Senate? I'm a or? videographer, and I has has oh, my okay. has my concept, right? Okay. I'm a small town videographer and photographer. Okay. So what I do, I like, like I, what I do, I'm actually want to know what the inception of that particular small town that I'm coming to, right? I see. I need to know how it emerge mm -hmm. and once I know how it emerge then I understand personality I understand I why why people act a certain way and then by by learning that you recognize that that behavior that actually is synonymous synonymous with the original inception of it mm -hmm. because the, ins the behavior will, will <laughs> depict uh, a, a situation where the you try to say, well, I pull myself up by my bootstrap. Mm -hmm. When in reality, historically, you didn't pull yourself up by a bootstrap, right? What happened, you was given an option I did well. uh, to come down and occupy uh, uh, we call a uh, uh, confiscated land. Mm -hmm. And so you became privileged and you endured the, uh, I'm not saying you, I'm right. saying- you're talking about yeah, yeah. society. And, and endure and that uh, element. Mm -hmm. And reality, you became wealthy on that. So therefore, when you became wealthy, now you're able now to pass that on to those who came after, after you. you. And what happened, those will come after you, uh, uh, may, what, what happened, they will say, that they pull themselves up by the bootstrap. <laughs> but in reality, really, they, they made a choice. <laughs> they, yeah, they didn't really pull them up. Someone paved the way and allowed them to receive that asset mm -hmm. that they received. And, and that's how, that's how it, most of the, most of the uh, small town America, right? Mm -hmm. From my study, uh, my observation, and historical perspective, that's how they emerge. You know, and the, here's the dunks downside of it right mm -hmm. and I'm not being critical I'm a historian too right eventually that inhabitants the inhabitants didn't share they even sh they didn't even share with those that are those that they displaced <laughs> that right. they displaced and after a while they even had a war among themselves right you know when I said war is that I want a peace 
I want to. I want to have. I want to have cattle. You want to have sheep. So therefore, uh, we don't even, even though we get it free, you know, some somebody want more somebody, than they got. Yeah, somebody <laughs> anyway. fought for it before. Yeah. Anyway, it been nice meeting you. Leon Volick is the name. I'm nice originally from you. the Virgin Islands, but that's my, that's my actually, you. that's my passion in understanding uh, small town where it includes the Virgin Island, and I have a YouTube channel too. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Have you? So have you been to the center before? I never been, been to the center. Here? That's why I walk in when I do my. I mean, this beautiful art center here in Carrollton. Oh, it's a beautiful place. If you have an opportunity, you come over here to this beautiful art center. It depicts a lot of beautiful art that you want to be part of your portfolio. So anytime you're in the area, come on over to Carrollton Cultural Art Center here in Tampa, Florida. You will see some of my depiction of what's in here as I develop a slideshow of this particular area that I visit today. I'm impressed by the people and what culture they exhibit in here to the public. Again, I'm in Carrollton Art Center. Carrollton Art Center, for the culture of the art here in Carrollton. Florida in town. We're picking a wide shot of the area and it's unique because this is a building I just came out of that exhibits so much beautiful art and beautiful people interpret the statue out there in a beautiful poem that was written for two lovers. And the, the, this culture itself is uh, magnificent. You have to understand the deep love relationship that Arthur had for his girlfriend and for each other and they accept the situation that was actually going on she was leaving and he actually submitted to it but he still loved her even though uh, she has to go wherever she's going I'm not sure where she was going but it's a beautiful love poem uh, on the wall there as you go inside of the uh, Carrollton uh, Art Center, Carrollton Wood Cultural Center here outside of uh, Tampa. It's one of the suburbs in Tampa you can come and visit at any time and have a great time listening and seeing. Center, Art Center here. This is what we call the Carrollton recreational site here depicting the uh, swamp waters and swamp land that is synonymous with, uh, with Tampa Bay and Tampa Pond here.
fine this afternoon. Uh, I'm out for the day or uh, afternoon shooting video around Florida. This happened to be a spot here called the Watch Lookout Tower here. Uh, I don't see no fish in here, but this is what the pond uh, is being depicted here in Florida. Uh, recreational site here right off of Tampa, Florida. Some of the sites that I capture around this place called uh, Carrollton Lake here in Florida. Uh, it's quite a different place to be. Carrollton Lake. Okay, it's Carrington Lake here in Florida. I'm capturing the uh, moments here in these grounds. So, I'm out for a recreational exhibit, and this happened to be one of those recreational exhibits I'm, I'm participating in today here in, um, in Carrollton, George, I mean, Florida. Uh, there is a Carrollton. Uh, Oh, Georgia, but well, this one is Florida, so uh, I similar, uh, not similar, but uh, it's kind of like Florida only has uh, wetland, uh, Georgia has a little bit of wetland, that um, irrigated pond, so that's the wetland right here in this. Uh, Pond, wetland, navigational pond. Uh, Seems like it's getting ready to rain, but we got some deep clouds up there. And I love, I love when the clouds come out in Florida because it cools down thing. I'm uh, not saying I want to get wet, but uh, it cools down thing here in Florida when you have wet, when you have rainfall. See the rainbow. There's a rainbow across this uh, lake. Fascinating rainbow here. It just come out here, came out there. Just, just it. Never expect to see it, but uh, it's a rainbow across the uh, fountain here in Carrollton Lake. some justice uh, and that's why I'm taking this picture because I love this corridor here of the tree formation over this beautiful place called Carrollton Carrollton Park here right outside Tampa okay it's more or less uh, a recreational center it's just off of the uh, cultural center here yeah. if you ever get a chance to come to, uh, to this particular location Exhibit uh, in this place. Those art exhibits is significant of the people who actually uh, like it. There's a Carlton strip mall here, up from the park. The gas is ridiculously up at 379, when all the others actually are 333. So gas gouging for the location I guess.
You don't need two of those dogs. Huh? You don't need two of those dogs. Oh, the gray one. No, I'm keeping the and I'm going to give her away. Yeah, yeah. Gentle down the stream. Going gentle down the stream. This canal. You can hear the waterfall in the distance. This is the history of the waterfall. portion of the waterfall going down here. It's one of the wildlife here and the birds in the area. That lines the uh, live in the forest here at the brandy wine waterfall. Craters. They're located at um, 
Thank you for speech. Curls on the back trap of a uh, St. Thomas uh, East End 